Hey guys, it's Lauren here. Now I have to talk really quietly because it's really early in the morning when I'm doing this voiceover and my family are still tucked away asleep. So if you hear me getting quieter or, you know, sounding funny, not not my normal self, I'm trying to be quiet to keep them asleep. So I can do this voiceover and hopefully have a quiet cup of tea before the house awakens and the chaos begins. But I want to share this video with you. It's the Australia Day weekend here in Australia and I'm about to head away for a few nights with my family and do some fun family things. But I thought I'd really love to get this video up for you guys and share with you this pretty layer I made using uh, Felicity Jane... Uh, digital downloads. I'll, I'll talk more about that later. And also a Tiffany Julia printable. Um, I, oh, it's a printable or it might be one of her kits, but just, just a few yellow butterflies of hers. But if you haven't seen or heard of Tiffany Julia, check her out on Instagram. She just does these sweet journals, soft, pretty colours, and um, she's really inspiring to have in your feed. So check that out there. Anyway, I just want to really make a soft, pretty, super girly layout. And when I was thinking about what products to do that, I couldn't go past Felicity Jane. Now, I had bought the Lola kit a long time ago. And, you know, for most of you know that I, um, you know, I just buy physical products and scrapbook traditionally, really. Uh, when it comes to anything with the word digital in front of it, I think I I have a mild heart attack. Like, <laughs> so um, buying Felicity Jane products is like a real treat here in Australia because the shipping and everything is so expensive. So I thought I'm going to try one of these digital kit things. <laughs> Anyway, so a long time ago, I purchased Lola. She's been sitting on my computer looking pretty and I just haven't had a chance to play to work out actually how to get it to cut, how to get the elements across that I want and how to resize them. So using the Silhouette software um, from my Chemio, I managed to do some resizing and I've got an Apple computer and I actually didn't realise how easy it was to sort of resize things. Um, but this thing that I've been frightened of doing for so long ended up being really simple. So I ended up having all these beautiful embellishments that I sat and fussy cut because I enjoy fussy cutting. And um, I, I resized them to the size that I want. And now I can create many beautiful layouts using Lola. And I think uh, having a girl... Um, Katie, my gorgeous little dolly, um, I get to make those super pretty layouts and she is a sweet girly girly at this stage, that may change, she might a little, as she grow, as we all know, uh, when we were younger we changed our styles but at the moment she's super girly and I'm just loving it so this beautiful Felicity Jane kit was perfect for that. So I ha as you can see, I created a background just using acrylic paint and a makeup sponge. And I just put it on the sponge and blended it around. I didn't want to spend too much time on the background. And I knew if I just did a thin layer of acrylic paint, it would actually dry really quickly. I then watered down some of that acrylic paint just sitting in my paint palette and then just um, added a few splatters around just to help that transition from the paint onto the paper go really smoothly and sort of make it a little bit magical. I then set that aside to dry and while I did that I just had to play with my layering of the embellishment. Sometimes it's nice just to get that into your head before you actually stick it on the page. So as you saw I just sort of layered it up and it looks quite different now. Things end up in different spots but just getting that layering going in in my head really helps at times. So I, the title, Beautiful, um, is I Fussy Cut That. That's out of the Felicity Jane kit as well. So that's really cute. And that gorgeous little Lola image there. I always wonder with these, like, you know, you can usually get, when people draw illustrations like that gorgeous little girl there, um, I always wonder when is the right time to use that on a layout. And I kind of... I, I, it kind of stumped me. I'm thinking, what? why are people using these illustrations? <laughs> but then I kind of realised the time for me to use it is if I had a photo of Katie, a full image of Katie where it was her whole body, the same as the illustration, 
then having the illustration might look a bit odd. But when I've got two different sized images, like Katie's full head there filling the photo, having her in in having that illustration there in her full length actually worked really well. So, well, actually, well, it, uh, you know, you let me know if it worked really well or not. <laughs> but it it kind of worked for me. It kind of balanced out. But so what I realized is if I'm going to use an illustration like that, which they're so super cute, you know, I really want to use them. Um, it, I've just got to make sure I've got the right photo. And I think the trick is not to make the photo the same image as the illustration. And I think that's kind of helped there. Um, she hasn't taken away from the photo um, she's, she's sort of balanced out and she definitely has turned into an embellishment, not, not a feature of the photo or, um, yeah. And that's what I, I'm really mindful when I'm scrapbooking, not to take away from what I'm doing. I know I can get caught up in creative land and which is a lovely part of this hobby. Um, and that's a, it's a healing mental health part of this hobby for me that I can just sort of transport myself into the world of paper and glue and pretty things. But I've got to be mindful that I do not lose the photo in, in the process and not lose the memory that I'm trying to catch, capture with all these beautiful, beautiful products. So I really am mindful of that of each of the layouts that I'm doing. And, um, and I hope you can kind of see that in my style as well. So let me know in the comments, do you love making super girly layouts like this, putting pretty things everywhere? The beautiful things about kits like this is you could probably put any of these items anywhere and it's going to work and it's going to look pretty. Um, so let me know in the comments or, or do you have boys? Do you have only boys and really wish that you could scrap some super girly layouts? I, um... I have a friend who, for a long, she's had a little girl since, but she had three boys first. And I think there was a time, and you know, there was a time when Katie wasn't born, I had my beautiful boy. Um, and so I, I would always just look at all those items in the in the scrapbooking section, and they're all pretty and things, and realize that I'm, I can't scrapbook with them. Or, you know, it's the same when you go into a shopping center and you're buying, there's always like, four aisles of girls clothes and then there's like two aisles of boys clothes <laughs> so it's like the girl stuff is always like pretty and you know and then the boys just get a couple of aisles on the side <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if you find that as well but I've found that over the years um so yeah I really since Katie's been born I've really tapped into my uh, inner prettiness and have scrapbooked my heart out with these, all these gorgeous products that come out so yeah I told you I'm using the Felicity Jane Lola digital kit and I've printed them out and resized them and fussy cut them uh, the other thing that I've used is these little butterflies are from Tiffany Julia um, I'll try and link all this the two Felicity Jane and Tiffany Julia below. Um, if you go over to the uh, Tiffany Julia, I think it's like a blog or website or whatever. Um, she does like a free monthly printable and she also has digital kits and they're really sweet and lovely and she's the queen of layering. Um, so if you're wanting some super girly like sweetness I think check out her journals and just watch a few of her YouTube videos you'll be really inspired um yeah I, I don't I can't journal like her I can't do what she does um hopefully I will hopefully I'll make time in my mind to try and do that but um she's so inspiring to me so I think that's her gift to me it's just her Instagram feed <laughs> So pop over and check it out. So here I am. I've just laid up all those butterflies, puffed up their little wings. I put some wings on the little illustration and made her come to life. And now I'm finishing off with these were not digital, clearly. These were a time when I had a little splurge at um, Felicity Jane and got some of some bits and bobs but one of them was these sweet little puffies they're super tiny hearts and dots and things like that but they are so sweet so they're like treasure to me so this layout got like five five little puffy hearts that's like you know super special so I must really love this layout 
Anyway, here you go. I hope you like my super sweet, super girly layout and I hope it inspires you to try a digital kit if you haven't and uh, f do some fussy cutting or use your silhouette and uh, check out Felicity Jane and Tiffany Julia below as they really inspire me if this is the kind of style that you like to scrapbook or if you just like to look at. All right, guys, take care. Keep scrapping. Bye. Bye.